Hey guys, this is Travis Baylitz. I live currently with bipolar disorder. At one point in time, I used I used to be labeled schizoaffective bipolar disorder, whatever you want to call it. So I have a mix of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. That's what kind of schizoaffective means. It only affects like less than 1% of the population, but I don't know, they ended up label, labeling me with Bipolar Disorder 1 in 2014, I believe, the end of, like, December 2014, and it's been that ever since. I used to be Bipolar Disorder Type 2, but who knows? Let me get to the big picture here. So, a friend of mine wants me to cover, he also has a mental illness, he suffers from schizophrenia. He wants me... Yeah to talk about mania and mania and psychosis which I can go into now I want to put a disclaimer out there right away and that's the fact that hey I am a person living with a mental illness I'm a consumer so that means that I'm not always scientifically correct so if there's anything that's wrong feel free to comment below Um, anyways, let's just get started. So with mania, there's this high, and it's kind of like, it feels really, really, really good to the point where you don't sleep. So sometimes I've been up 24 to 26 hours at a time, and it's also a feeling that gives you so much pleasure, you do stupid things like... Your ration decision making, you might have mixed moods like aggression, anger, and also you might put that anger onto someone else. And I used to do that a lot. So my personality changed. I wouldn't say my personality, my mood has changed the way I interpret my life and the way I interact with people. Um, also, when it comes to mania, Likely, if you're manic, you probably have depression, and that can be bad, but he only wants me to talking about mania here. So, with mania in general, it's just a over-exaggerated, pleasurable feeling. And that feeling can be grandiose. That's one word to describe mania. Grandiose. Something that's big. Um, the way I interpret mania is... I used to like to strip a lot. I used to go into thongs and and strip around. I know it's not really age appropriate, but that's what I used to do. I like just just like to streak, man. Naked. Anyway, another habit that I used to do is I used to spend a lot, so I spent like ten thousand dollars on Music. I might even do that when I'm depressed. I just feel like shit, so I want to spend something. So I'll spend it on music. So I spent like $10,000 on my music career, which... Uh, has taken me uh, several places. Uh, especially on YouTube. Uh, it has given me so much satisfaction because I'm so popular. Uh, anyways... That's it with mania. Let's talk about psychosis. Psychosis is a little bit different. It's like an alteration of reality. My alteration of reality is I heard voices telling me that I wanted to kill myself. I had voices telling me that I wanted to hang a rope. So I did. I did that in 2009 or 10. I hung up a rope in the gazebo and that's what my feelings told me to do. But in reality, I was just stupid. I drove... 19 hours across state from Minnesota to Virginia, 19 hours just to fuck a pussy, pretty much. And that 19 hour stay, I could tell you, eh, it wasn't worth it. And in fact, it smelled pretty bad. So, in generally speaking, doesn't matter however I felt, I still felt like shit because... I just was recently working full-time, going to school full-time, and that overloaded me. So literally, that overloaded feeling is what led to my downfall. And my downfall led to more downfalls 
in the future because I was on like Wellbutrin, which is an antidepressant. And supposedly I'm bipolar, so that wasn't the right medication. When in reality, I'm also on an antidepressant right now. I've been on two antidepressants before. Uh, atricycl, 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 I think that's how you say it. Or a tricyclical, one of those two. I was on that medication, doxepin. I'm no longer on that because it made me tired. Now I... I been taking um, Zimbalta. I've been on that for a while. Not sure how long, but I take that along with several meds. I might also show a video of me showing you what kind of meds I'm taking. So right now, psychosis can mean an alteration between reality, can mean hallucinations, delusions, believing things Believing things that aren't real and hallucinations are like sens sensual things that are belonging with your senses of something in inept. Like you smell gasoline even though there's no gasoline. That could be a hallucination. Or seeing things that aren't there. That's a hallucination. Seeing, you know, hallucination in the desert. You're seeing water. Hallucination. But these are are to the fact that these hallucinations, delusions, could be so abstract that people believe they're fake or people believe that you're very sick and crazy. And yes, I was crazy at a point where I felt that I wasn't myself and I kind of knew that. That's why I ended up in the hospital in 2009 and 10 and 14 and 15 so that explains it in a nutshell anyways I'm far beyond that I'm here to promote also something if you are interested in working with me I have an internet marketing business um, I will tell you more about it but it's something that if you are troubled by your nine to five job or you're sick of it or you feel that you want to change in your lifestyle you want more time freedom i can give you an opportunity just let me know uh or else you can go to the webinar and enter your email address and your contact information at http dot backslash backslash www.travisbaylitz.com T-R-A-V-I-S-B-A-L-I-T-Z dot com This is going to be loaded on Real Group Station! I hope I get a lot of fucking viewers for this! Give me the viewers! Bye.